Hi guys, I'm James from Bespoke Airsoft and some gun is making a comeback onto the channel because people want to know more about it. Oh, it's the Chopper Rhino. in the showroom about the chappers I think when we had the uh, limited editions in uh, but we've had the standard model models in for a while now so you guys asked if I could do a proper bringing it home um, show type video on it and go into a bit more detail so I'm going to try and do that for you here it is in its box the non-limited edition doesn't have a fancy case boo but you know it's not a bad box at all you're probably gonna throw it in a bit anyway who cares about the box Let's get this thing open. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Kapow! Right. You've got no limited edition markings. So that's going to be different from the limited editions. You don't have charging Rhino on the front here. You just have an energy 0.99 joule um, sticker on there. Shells are already inserted when they're in the box. Iron sights. And if you haven't seen the other video that I did on this uh, revolver set, the revolver is full metal all over, everywhere you could think of, apart from the grips which are plastic, you pop the grip off the side, has a CO2 bulb in there, and then you can use the handle to tighten or loosen it. I think that CO2 bulb in there is uh, empty. Yeah. So you use the lever, on the side you pull that back and then the cylinder will push out you can take the um, fake shells out any which way you want you can do them individually you can use the plunger at the bottom to pop them at the top or you can just empty them all into your hand to make it nice and easy these as you'll tell are made by wind gun very reminiscent shells we'll get more into the shells just later on and then you pop these in one by one each shell holds one BB, so you have six shots, and in terms of practicality compared to a lot of other airsoft platforms out there, this thing is a very inefficient way to shoot someone on the field, um, but it is probably the most coolest way to shoot someone on the field and then have to reload. Um, the realism of these things is absolutely superb. Very cool indeed. It comes in silver as well. Um, we're just starting to get a couple of the accessories in, like the shells and the uh, moon clips and such. So you'll see more products landing and, and being put up on the website. Um, the cool thing about the hammer is when you cock it, it's kind of like a two-part hammer system. So you've got the actual hammer inside, and then you've just got this piece on the top which you use to charge it. So what that means is you charge the hammer. Say you're doing a single action shot, you let go of the hammer, the hammer goes forward. So now you'll see it moves freely. So the internal hammer is actually the one that sits there waiting to be fired. Obviously you pull the trigger. Um, and you'll see on the opposite side, when you charge the hammer, or you pull the hammer back, you get, uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this in a way where I can see the camera, but it's uh, focusing on this. Um, you'll see there the safety, or this little icon here shows you the, the uh, revolver is live. And then you pull the, the trigger single action and that will go. You can also shoot it on double action where the hammer doesn't move. So the hammer stays there. You can still do it very quickly though. Excuse me. You can still do it very quickly. It does have a very hard trigger pull compared to some other revolvers out there. But... What I mean by that is, it's a lot easier, and I said this in the other video, it's a lot easier to do double action because you already have the motion of you, um, you know, sort of uh, tightening your, your tens in your hand. I'm sorry, I'm not, a, not up to speed on the, uh, the muscle groups that you'll use to pull the trigger, but when you pull the trigger, you're already in that motion, so it's a lot easier. When you pull the hammer back, it obviously makes the trigger pull a lot shorter, but you're at that last breaking point, and it is... It is quite a hard trigger. It's one of the hardest triggers I've found on a, on a pistol of any kind. But I'm sure there's something we, we can come up with that to maybe do a custom trigger service where we can make them a lot better. So if 
individual reloading is not your style, but you still want to have the, the, the realism of this revolver. Um, various companies have done it different ways. You can get speed clips that hold the shells. I'm pretty sure the speed clips should work with these shells. Don't quote me on that. They look a lot like the Dan Western ones. I think the Dan Western shells from also from Wingun, um, I think they take like the real speed clips too. You can get the ones that are nice and shorter uh, from a like, place like Brownells. Um, so you can get it so where you hold in six rounds, you'll dump the rounds into like a dump pouch or something, and then you get the, the plunger and you literally just uh, click it on and it will drop six shells in there. That's a much faster way, a uh, more efficient way of running a revolver, the realism, uh, in terms of realism. Uh, the other thing they do is moon clips. So um, what actually happens is between each shell in the cylinder barrel, whatever you call it, I can't honestly can't remember, um, there sits a little metal clip and the metal clip clips into the, each shell and it just holds six shells in like a laser cut piece of stainless. Uh, makes reloading even faster because it holds the shells when you dump them out. It's not dumping six individually. You're dumping six shells out as a one block and it's it's much easier to manage. So the Chapa limited editions came with six shells and it came with a moon clip. Um, and we had we've had the moon clips i think uh delivered or they're due in this week i can't quite remember depends when this video goes out we'll have had the moon clips in i think they originally came in like packs of i want to say 10 or packs of 20 it came in like a really weird like a pack of 20 for like you know 30 quid or something silly and i just said look no one's no one needs like 20 moon clips so we might do something different and offer them individually instead um because they're not very cheap um but also, the thing that they don't tell you is that the, the, the shells that come with the Chapa Limited Edition take the moon clip, but the shells that come with the standard edition are just standard shells. So what you should have here is you should have like a little machine section, like a cutout, where this clips in, and it's not apparent on the standard shells. So um, that will also be something that if you're using the moon clips with the standard edition, you might need the moon clip um, compatible shells uh, whew, i don't know why they do this like so freakishly uh, complicated but bear in mind we'll get everything in that we need um and you guys need and then you know just so you aware i wanted people to be aware of that fact because i don't want you to go out and buy the moon clips for the standard edition and then try and put it on and break the shells or not be aware um it's not a fault of ours it's just the way the companies don't ever tell you this information we never got told it just comes in and they're like yep we've had the money you've had the product and that's normally where it ends but um, let's get into the chrono and accuracy test. Uh, I can't wait to shoot this thing because it's loud, it's angry, and it's like re super realistic uh, with the shells and how they come out. We are in like a little discussion whether we should do some of our own limited editions with these, perhaps do it under the Jaeger Precision brand. Um, let us know in the comments below because we'll only be doing like one or two of them maybe, or even like four, a very low number in a very specific Color set that's we'll probably Cerakote and do like a trigger adjustment on there to make it nice and nice and light, um, which is what you need when you're shooting accurately as well. Um, so let's get to the chrono test, we'll see what this thing does, then we'll do the accuracy test, um, and then I'll be back on camera to say the last bit, I suppose. <laughs> it's been a long day. So, fresh CO2 bulb, 0.2 gram BBs. Let's see what this thing can do. First few shots are single action. And these are double action. Point 0.3 gram babies this time. Uh, I've not messed with the hop at all, so we're going to see how it does. Too sure where that dropped, but I think it was just slightly bottom left. Dead on. Dead on again. Jesus Christ.
Well, uh, don't know where those last few shots went, but I at least got two or three in the middle. So for a six shooter, this is really good. It's got the adjustable hop as well, so I'll have to pick one of these up myself. A very respectable 330 or 327 to 340 feet per second. Perfect for UK limits. That means you can use it pretty much anywhere depending on the site. Some sites don't like CO2 stuff now. It's like a really weird knee-jerk reaction to CO2. Basically, you see you've got some CO2 on the field. And a lot of sites, you are the devil and you need to be uh, expelled, um, pretty much. But, you know, a lot of companies are now doing CO2 um, revolvers and pistols that are you know UK legal they they run site limits or they give you the option of running downgrade shells or um, sort of downgrade nozzles like the secutor stuff they're CO2 but they give you normally give their little nozzles uh, in a lot of their lines uh, I don't think the Magna the new Magna comes with it because I think it's pretty much good out of the box but the rest of them if they were hot are capable of firing up they give you like a little exchangeable part and then you could use them on uh, UK sites in the summer when it's really hot um, the action test, you know, you'll have seen from the chrono that you probably see that I shake when I chrono stuff anyway when it's a pistol and it's literally because the camera is here, I can't see because the camera's in front of me and I'm trying to like hold it out like this and look in the camera um, screen, uh, like the display on, on a placement for the, the, the chrono and stuff, so you probably see I move about anyway but it was amplified even more when you're trying pull that trigger. I don't know what accurate representation you get there, but that is just amplified a little bit just because of the trigger pull. Obviously it's a lot easier to pull on double action, uh, but we can do, perhaps if we did like a nice limited edition, we do like a trigger job on these um, and see if we can improve it maybe. But you know, I love this thing. It is a, don't get me wrong, I, I know people think that I, you know, you know, throw shade at you know, uh, the Dan Westerns and the other wing on revolvers. It's just a bit of fun that I'm just trying to say, like you might have seen a few memes going up there. Um, it's not a dig at the Dan Westerns. I've had Dan Westerns in the past. Um, there's nothing wrong with the system. They did learn over the period of the, the time doing it where they would fit adjustable hop units. Where, how have I not talked about the adjustable hop unit on this yet? Sorry guys. Um, it's because I did it in the first video. But yeah, they, they learned a little bit later on that you needed adjustable hop units to make these, you know, skirmishable um, or making them easier to use and I just think this is like one of those revolvers on steroids because it's got all the cool features it's super new and exciting and it's got nice modern styling uh, very much similar to like the Matibas um, it's got a new style hop adjustment system so they give you this little C spanner and you put it on the hop and you can click it round up or down It'll obviously adjust to a point where it'll go more hop, more hop, more hop, and then the, like the last click will go off, and then you go more again. So it's a very nice intuitive des uh, design that they've put into that. It's very, very cool indeed. I don't know how I almost forgot to talk about that, but let's uh, let's push past that and carry on. So this is just a very much cooler version of the uh, Dan Wessons, I think. Um, it's cool that the, you know the barrel feeds from the the bottom shell rather than the top. I like the aggressive styling. You've got a adjustable iron sight on the back here, which is nice and easy to use. Although sometimes when you like look at the pistol, they can sit a little on the wonky side. Um, what I'd like to do is perhaps do something with these sights just to make them a little bit more easier to see. When you're on a black background or a dark environment, it's not the easiest to pick up. However, if I point it at the opposite uh, side where the, the door's painted white, um, you know you can see them perfectly, but it's not gonna be like you're on the field and you're always gonna be in a well-lit environment um, you know, if you do it like you're doing it indoors as well, or you're under some kind of like tree coverage, uh, they're not the easiest sights in the world to use. Um, but I've had, as usual, I've had great fun. I always have great fun chrono these things and chrono these things, reviewing these things and chrono them and shooting them. Um, it really is why I got into the business and I still enjoy doing it to this day. I don't think if I did, um, or if I didn't still enjoy it, I don't think I'd be here because it's quite a stressful, stressful environment. But, um, very cool there. What I will say is those wanting to do the old slap revolver, you can much do it, but uh, if you break those actions, it will be on you. It won't be covered by the manufacturer's warranty if you're whacking the cylinder into the gun. If you don't and you just push it up like I just did there, the gun or the, the assembly will, will not break as far as I'm concerned. I've never seen a, a Dan Wesson or another wing gun revolver break the action. Um, very cool. 
put your, your torches or lasers or anything on the bottom there if you wanted to. I would have loved to have seen um, perhaps a red dot, doll, red dot style mount here. I think they might do it because they've got a screw up the front here and then obviously have a screw here where this comes in. So perhaps they'll do a bracket for like a little red dot sight. That'd be cool. I like red, uh, revolving red dot sights as you'll see from the uh, hater revolver that I did not long ago. But um, if you've got the money, you want something a little bit more realistic from like the, the likes of uh, the Hater, and you want something modern looking that's licensed by the firearms company themselves, and it's not, um, you know, it's not they slap the license on, it becomes stupidly expensive like uh, some other um, distributors, I mean, what's the, <coughs> Humorex. But, um, you know, you're not paying more than what you used to be able to for something that's just got a stamp on. Um, so that's good as well from a realism point of view. Uh, from a realism point of view, I'm, I'm not a fan of the trades. I'd like to put something a little bit more aggressive on there um, and really go to town. You've got all this blank canvas where you could do some nice laser etching. We'll see if we do some limited editions of these. Who knows? We'll see. I'm James at Bespoke. This has been the Chapa Rhino 50DS CO2 revolver. I recommend you pick one up, add it to your collection. Um, if I had as much disposable income uh, as I used to, um, I'd be getting all these. You'll see, I have like many. You know, I do I do like to collect them, but um, you know, this could be another one maybe for like a bit of realism. Shooting in the garden as well is an absolute blast because of the realism and the shells. You know, it puts gives you a bit more to it. Um, but uh, any questions, put them down in the comments below. If I've missed anything, I'm sorry. Just pop it down in the comments below, and I'll answer best I can. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. What you're playing at? Majority of our viewers, uh, as little as there are, <laughs> are actually not subscribed at all. So all the people that aren't subscribed are watching us and all the subscribers, we get a, a few that watch us. Why not just subscribe? You know, you can be uh, updated when we do more reviews or other crazy things. Who knows what we'll get up to. Um, but this has been the Chapa Rhino. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, like I say, if I've missed anything, cast down below and I'll do my best to answer for you. And I'll see you in the, in the next video. Thank you.